Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all absolutely spot on and thank you very much for watching this video. Now, I've been shopping. I've been to the range. I've been to Iceland exclusive to the range. Come and have a look what I've got. So I've seen these. I've not seen them in my Iceland, but I've seen them in the range. In the Iceland in the range. And it's classic fish and chips with mushy peas. Coming in at 400 grams. So, I had to get it, didn't I? I had to get it. And it was £1.79. And, and it looks like it's similar to the one I'd done the other day. Um, that steaklet with chips and peppercorn sauce. It's it's looking like it's it's a similar range to that and also the um the Swedish style meatballs as well. So we've got to get this open and see what we've got. So I know what we have got. We've got rain, rain and wind. Miserable out there. Oh there we go, look. It is, it's the same sort oh I've got I've got an escape P. <laughs> Let me try and get a bit of better light on this miserable grey day. There it is, look, that is that. So let's get this open and have a closer look at it. So we'll start with the nutritional information. If you want to read that, by all means, pause it and read that. Per meal oven baked, 571 calories. Uh, and it says a little bit about it there, doesn't it? 400 gram box, fish and chips with mushy peas, battered potato chips, pre-fried in sunflower oil with mushy peas and a, a flash fried battered Alaskan Pollock fillet portion. So that's what it is. And they are the ingredients as well. If you want to read them, by all means, there's a few allergies in bold there. Barley, fish, wheat, wheat, wheat. It's got chips, 46%. Um, battered Pollock, 25%. Alaskan Pollock fish, 55%. So that is them, look. Let's have a look, see if there's any more information on the box there. It just says it, they are packed for Iceland foods in Dublin. Um, and they are the ways to cook. The cooking instructions so basically you do it in the oven from frozen fan 220 minutes or gas 725 minutes and if it's anything like the others you take the, the, the chips and the fish out you put them on a baking tray um, and basically you peel them peel them back uh, you keep the mushy peas in there because they go in the microwave look there's the microwave instructions for the mushy peas so if you want to pause them and have a look at that, by all means, go for it. And there's a the mushy peas look as well. Pierce lid several times, place on a microwave plate, cook for 1 minute th 30 seconds, give them a stir, replace the lid and cook for a further 30 seconds. Cook, uh, let, hang on a minute, let's read this again. Place um, lid Pierce lid several times, place on a microwave plate, cook for one minute, 30 seconds. Stir, replace, film lid. Cook for a further one minute, stir before serving. There we go, got it right in the end. <laughs> so that is them, so let's let's do the old, the old um, peeling, the, it's the peel test, isn't it? Let's see if they peel off okay, look at that. So you don't go past there, you keep that intact, that area there. Like, oh, I've gone past it. <laughs> I couldn't help go past it. It wasn't even secured there. So anyway, I don't need to pierce the, pierce the lid several times, do I? So there we go. That is them, look. Let me get a bit of better light for you. This is that. <laughs> oh, dear. Never mind. So I'm going to do mine in the air fryer. I'm not going to do them in the oven. I'm going to do them in the air fryer because it's half the cooking time. Half the cooking time. So there we go, they're in the, the air fryer. So I'm gonna switch it on. Um, I'm gonna bake roast. 200 degrees. 
and I'm going to do them for 10 minutes, half the time. So they're going. So when I get close to three minutes, I'll, I'll do the mushy peas in the microwave. So if you like this kind of content, please give the video a thumbs up. Um, and if you've not subscribed, then hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. And you won't miss any of my videos. And leave, please leave a comment as well. See what you think of these ra this range of, this range, you've got to be in the range. This sort of range of food. <laughs> It's not been too bad up to now, it's not been too bad, apart from the reformed, well the reformed Swedish meat meatballs, I mean they were alright though, they were, they were alright and the steak look was reformed and it just tasted like a beef burger, they, they were fine, I didn't mind them at all like, but the chips were good, um, <laughs> my uh, computer is going nuts. So yeah, so I'd just like to say thanks to all the new foodies who have been joining the channel. Thank you very much for joining. I don't like saying subscribers. Uh, well, your foodies like me, I'm a foodie. I love food. And if you like this sort of thing, then, you know, you're like, you're a foodie. You know, and if, if I do this basically, so I try this kind of food and it's my kind of food. Uh, and if it's any good, I'll let you know. And if it's not, then you don't have to go and buy it, do you? You can save some money. That's what it's all about. So thanks for watching. Yeah, so what I'll do, I'll bring you back in, in well, eight or ten minutes. So it's done. Fish is cooked. That is well cooked. Chips, there's the chips, look. Oh, nice and crisp as well. Wow. So let's get these on. There we go. All I've got to do now is the mush peas. So there it is, look. Not looking too bad. One pound and 79 pence. I don't think that's too bad. Let me get a bit of better light for you. There we go. Look at that. This is that. So it's, it's time we tasted it, isn't it? Let's see what it's like. So let's get this fish cut in half first. There we go. This is that. Let me get a bit of better light for you. There we go, look. Not looking too bad, is it? Not looking too bad up to now. So I'm gonna taste the fish and chips and the mushy peas. And then I'm obviously going to put salt and vinegar on it all, aren't I? Because that's what you've got to have, isn't it? Fish, chips and mushy peas. <laughs> Get on there. Right, so there we go. There's the fish, look. I'm not getting too big a mouthful. Mm. It's all right. I mean... It's a little bit, there it is, look. Mmm. Mmm, that's tasty. Wow, that is tasty. Oh, that is lovely. It's lovely. Let's try the chips. Excuse me, hands. There's only me eating it. This is my... Well, it's mid-morning, actually. It's my brunch. I've not had breakfast, so I'm getting straight into this. I'm going to skip lunch, and this is so it's brunch, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. There isn't nothing wrong with it. If I can put this stand up. Let's try the mushy peas. You can taste the fish, the batter's nice. It's a little bit like, not as crisp as I was expecting, but for one pound and 79 pence, there's the mushy peas, look. Yeah, they're all right. They're all right, they need a bit of seasoning. I'm gonna put some salt, salt and vinegar on everything, but there's nothing wrong with that. All right, it's Pollock. It's Pollock fish. Um, 
But I mean, what can you expect for one pound and seventy nine? So let's get some vinegar and salt. And there we go. Oh, I can smell that vinegar now. So this is what it's. This is how you do it, isn't it? So you get your, you get your fish, and you get your chips, and you get your mushy peas. Look, there we go. <laughs> Let's not mess about. Let's not mess about. lovely wow one pound and 79 pence go oh, i would buy that again definitely one pound and 79 pence for that it's fantastic for me i'm gonna have to say that's that's a good nine and a half out of ten it really is a good nine and a half out of ten the mushy peas are all right the chips are lovely and the fish is tasty as well wow i'm really impressed with this one I think this is your this is your one you buy, isn't it? Out of the the three of them, your, your meatballs are processed, aren't they? And your, your steak looks reformed. God, oh, this is lovely. I'm gonna get some bread and butter out now. Make some butties. Mmm. <laughs> that is lovely. Wow. No, not come across any bones neither in all the fishes that I've done not come across any bones so that's a credit isn't it so I would recommend that and nine and a half out of ten so thank you very much for watching I do appreciate that if you got this far doff my cap to you all the best take care and I'll catch you on the next one